The sub-zero temperatures of the Alaskan wilderness can't dampen the enthusiasm of those for whom adventure is an everyday reality. Agnes Hale is one of those brave souls who has braved the Alaskan wilderness in spite of the harsh weather conditions. Her rise to fame over the last decade has been nothing short of spectacular, captivating audiences all over the globe with stories of courage and perseverance. However, Agnes Hailstone has had a rocky few years and many are wondering what happened to her. Come along as we investigate the events behind Life Below Zero and the heroic and enduring story of Agnes Hailstone. Living in Alaska means facing the harsh truth of our surroundings. Our ability to conduct our jobs and leave the area is hindered. One of the few reality shows produced by BBC Studios, Life Below Zero, allows viewers to hone their nomad abilities. It dives into the day-to-day -day struggles of the group as they traverse the harsh Alaskan environment while living a nomadic existence. An enthralling documentary series, Life Below Zero, reveals Alaska's wild and unspoiled nature. Those that are daring go on an adventure to the very core of the Arctic Circle. Despite overwhelming obstacles, subsistence hunters in this BBC studio-produced series manage to survive and even flourish in the harshest of environments. The resiliency of the human spirit is shown by this. The program follows the cast members as they go about their everyday lives in Alaska, showcasing their survival abilities and their struggle to survive the severe conditions. In it, the Hailstone family, famous Chip and Agnes and their seven children, enjoy a life of rustic Alaskan camping, hunting, and family fun. Before embarking on their trip on the program, Chip and Agnes were already married for a while, but reports have it that their marriage has been anything from smooth sailing. Help us put together what happened to Agnes Hailstone by sticking around as we painstakingly go through the many bits of evidence. The name Agnes Hailstone conjures images of tenacity, competence, and the wild Alaskan spirit. From the moment of her birth in 1972 forward, the forces of nature were bound to intertwine with her existence. Since Agnes was born on the same day as Hurricane Agnes, which devastated the United States in 1972 and caused an estimated $2.1 billion in damage, her parents saw this as a sign that their daughter would be a formidable figure in society. Agnes did not receive the typical upbringing for an Alaskan kid when she was a youngster living in Norvik. She learned to survive and even flourish in the harsh Alaskan climate from an early age, thanks to her parents, who were skilled hunters and her first and foremost instructors. Hunting, trapping, and listening to the land's rhythms were all skills that Agnes honed. With these abilities, she was able to navigate the subtleties of everyday life in Alaska and eventually get a starring role in the National Geographic Channel's Life Below Zero program. Agnes went to school at home, unlike a lot of her classmates. You never know what the day may bring on set of Life Below Zero. There are firearms and cameras everywhere. The choice was a reflection of the strong bond her family had with their environment. There was more to her education than just books, classes, uniforms, and rote memorization. Agnes's parents did a great job passing their expertise to her. Therefore, she has and excels in every nomadic talent imaginable. No, the Hailstones aren't the kind to spare a lady just because she's a woman. They did not hold back in their efforts to mold her into the fearless, independent woman she eventually became. She has become an international sensation despite not having a single social media account, so it's no surprise that her parents are so proud of her. This symbolizes authentic Alaskan ancestry. Since she is an authentic Alaskan, she is exempt from government regulations against excessive hunting and does not need a permission to hunt in the wild. Recent years have seen an increase in hunters and a fall in wild Alaskan resources, which has caught the attention of the state's administration. In order to prevent the indigenous people, like Agnes, from going hungry, a legislation was passed to protect their right to hunt. After completing her training with her parents, Agnes was required to hunt and kill an animal as part of the last ritual. Animals play an integral part of her daily life. She makes oil from the fat of skinned games and uses skins and other useful components for crafts and building supplies. She feels terrible about killing animals for their fur or flesh, but she justifies her actions by saying that it's all part of nature's cycle of life and that she always says sorry to the animal after killing it. 
Agnes has tattooed stripes on her chin, which symbolizes her coming of age and the fact that a woman should take herself seriously and not laugh or play about too much now that she's a teenager. The Alaskan Hunter. Agnes is doing her best to make do with the resources she has. Developed between 1882 and 1891, her weapon is a military rifle called the Mohsen's Russian Rifle, a three-line rifle manufactured by Mohsen Nagant. It contains five shots and an internal magazine. Despite its enduring popularity, the rifle has sold over 37 million copies, becoming it the greatest mass-produced weapon in military history. Her multi-purpose knife is called Yulu. In Chip Hailstone, Agnes found not just a lifelong companion, but also an honest ally who shared her views and dedication to a more traditional lifestyle. They are each other's equals, not just inside, but also when they go out into the great outdoors, where they face the challenges and triumphs of nature side by side. They formed and deepened this bond amidst the untamed landscapes of Alaska, and it has been the bedrock of their shared existence and the family they have created. Chip is just the second husband of Agnes. From her previous marriage to a man called Carter, she had two sons, Douglas and John. The experiences of motherhood and marriage, which she had at an early age, molded her personality and gave her invaluable lessons that would serve her well throughout her life. This transition in life is a perfect opportunity for the resilience and adaptability that Agnes has taught her children. Agnes and Chip's family exemplifies sustainable living since every member, from the youngest to the oldest, learns to adapt to their natural environment. They teach each other the age-old trades of hunting, fishing, and survival in their home, which helps with both their livelihood and the preservation of their culture. This data will guarantee that their culture and way of life will be preserved even as they confront the challenges posed by modernity. Viewers are moved by the Hailstone family's story in Life Below Zero, which portrays resilience, imagination, and unbreakable bonds beyond the confines of their Alaskan farm. As a matriarch, Agnes exemplifies strength, wisdom, and love. As a leader and caregiver, she inspires women worldwide. Her estimated net worth exceeds $400,000, with her role in the popular TV series Life Below Zero being a significant factor. Knowing the storyline of the show and how it sheds light on what happened to Agnes Hailstone is crucial, as the name Agnes Hailstone is now linked to the Life Below Zero series. You won't be able to tear your eyes away from this discovery. It would be wise for us to go. Life Below Zero chronicles the struggle of four people in the United States state with the lowest population density for survival necessities. At the end of the world's most barren roadways, they face a long, hard winter battling man-eating creatures, uncertain frozen terrains, strong snowstorms, and minimal supplies as they exist in the harsh Alaskan wilderness. Spring in the forest presents enormous obstacles for every member of the ensemble, whether they're wandering lonesome or accompanied by loved ones. The program's journey started in May 2013, giving viewers an inside look into the lives of those who have chosen isolation over the hectic modern world. Episodes starring actual people cost between $2,000 and $4,500. There is a lot more to the show than that. An already enthralled audience eagerly anticipated the beginning of season 23 in November 2023, eager for further survival tales set against the stunning and harsh Alaskan scenery. With its unfiltered honesty, Life Below Zero stands out among reality show narratives. An astute reminder of the hunter-prey dynamic is provided by the show's portrayal of a world in which humans are lower on the food chain than other animals. The show's realistic portrayal has captivated audiences and garnered several awards, such as Best Cinematography and Editing Emmys. A chronicle of humanity's connection to the Earth, Life Below Zero goes beyond just a simple survival narrative. Viewers may connect to the ensemble members' experiences of a challenging but rewarding life as they are transported to the vast, icy landscapes of Alaska by tuning in. This is a sobering illustration of the vastness of our world and the many ways in which our species has evolved to live here. Agnes Hailstone has appeared in 135 episodes between 2013 
and 2021. The record is second to none, and it belongs to the legendary storyteller James Franzo. I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like to be surrounded by nothing but snow, ice, and animals for 100 kilometers straight in temps below minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The protagonists of Life Below Zero have nevertheless been solely responsible for that and establishing a civilization among the Alaskan wilderness. Following the cast of Life Below Zero for many years, Nat Geo has announced the debut of a new Life Below Zero, named Next Generation. This series will feature a different set of individuals who have decided to live off the grid in the Alaskan tundra. It will provide an unusual look into the reasons for making such a decision and the difficulties of actually doing it. Showrunner and executive producer Joseph Litzinger addressed the difficulty of employing technology in such extreme settings by saying that the team relies on GoPro cameras and drones, but that these equipment need electricity, which is in short supply in the Alaskan tundra. Technology isn't usually built to withstand the severe weather that might be seen in Alaska during winter. Maintaining battery charge at sub-freezing conditions is an additional daunting challenge that the team must overcome. When subjected to these temperatures, batteries can either not work at all or deplete much faster than usual. However, they have discovered that physically tying batteries to themselves maintains their temperature and readiness to fire over time. Although the show has taught its audience a lot about Agnes Hailstone, all they know about her is the struggles she faces every day as a result of the harsh climate in her remote Alaskan home. But is it all we know about the woman? We are going to learn. Rumor has it that Agnes is about to leave life below zero soon. This show, which started season 20, episode 1, in November 2022, and maintained Agnes on the cast, may soon disappoint viewers who have come to love the character Agnes Hailstone over the years. People who watch the show have observed that several of the actors have quit. Agnes is still heavily involved in the program, in case you were wondering. She proved it in the most recent 20th season outing. Until the show's producers tell her otherwise, Agnes will stay, which is wonderful news for her admirers. Despite Agnes's struggles in the last several years, it is clear that she has no intention of leaving Life Below Zero anytime soon. Although Agnes was a mainstay on Life Below Zero, she did not appear in an episode in 2020. Agnes Hailstone's abrupt disappearance sparked widespread speculation and alarm, elevating her notoriety. It went beyond the usual worries and sparked a flood of speculation and worry among the show's loyal viewers. Her emotional absence in an episode was felt, and it wasn't just physical. The fact that viewers turned to social media to express their concerns and get answers shows how important Agnes had became to them as viewers. A worried fan took to Twitter to voice their worry, stating, Where is Agnes Hailstone? I hope and pray everything is okay with her. This feeling encapsulates the collective worry felt by program fans. The show's producers opted not to address the question of why Agnes wasn't present on set by remaining silent. Because of this, rumor mongers were able to conjecture about her personal life and any problems that may have prevented her from participating in the shooting. During this period of uncertainty, the audience's strong attachment to the characters and cast members shone through mirroring the challenges and dangers of rural Alaskan life. The reappearance of Agnes in the subsequent episode brought both relief and joy to the audience. However, this incident has already shown how ill-grounded the audience is in relation to the brutal truth of producing a play in this environment. Rumors about Agnes's disappearance from life below zero only served to inflame the situation while her husband Chip spent a whole season in prison. With two counts of perjury and one count of providing false information to law police, Chip was found guilty. In 2011, Chip came clean about his daughter's alleged severe abuse at the hands of an Alaskan state policeman. A local allegedly threatened Chip's stepson with a gun, which was another accusation leveled against him. A thorough investigation by the police led to Chip's conviction for making false statements in relation to his allegations. His three-year probationary sentence was shortened to 15 months after the reversal of the verdict in 2017. While he was in prison, Chip's supporters started an internet effort to demand that former President Donald Trump free him. 
Reunited with his family and ready to continue his nomadic lifestyle, Chip resumed it after his release, is now running the show. The world would be a better place if he learns his lesson and stops trying to trick the cops. While Chip was behind bars, rumors started circulating that Agnes and Chip's marriage may be in danger. Regardless of the eventual validation of her decision, Agnes had little choice but to improve her hunting skills in order to support her children. Even though hunting by yourself might be depressing and dull, it was a fantastic opportunity for her children to get experience. It was a lonely and tough eight months without Chip. After Chip departed, Agnes claims that the dinner and coffee no longer tasted pleasant. She attributes her perseverance to the support of her children, who at first followed closely behind but now walk side by side and even accompany her hunting trips. Observing her children development has been a life-changing event, she continues. They have become stronger and more adept at surviving during the last year. After Chip got back, the family continued with their normal routine of entertaining people and playing hunting games. The scheme reportedly earns Agnes over $45,000 a year, and she has a net worth of over $200,000. She relies only on hunting and appearances on life below zero to generate income. She has no commercial interests whatsoever. Agnes misses out on opportunities to make money off of her celebrity that social media presents. I hope she'll think again and maybe even create an account on Facebook or Instagram someday. Our anticipation for the upcoming episode is palpable, but we are crossing our fingers that the 21st season opener this year has more family drama involving Agnes Hailstone. What do you suppose the protagonist's salaries are after all the heroic deeds they do to endure the brutal Arctic of Alaska in life below zero? Both Agnes Hailstone worth an estimated $100,000, and Chip, worth $92,000, are captivating reality TV personalities whose captivating worlds draw in audiences. Hunting and trapping are their activities. In a big way, the Alaskan landscape has affected Chip Hailstone and Agnes's life. Chip is from Kalispell, Montana, and Agnes is an Alopac native. A look inside Hailstone's world is offered in Life Below Zero, where the delicate ecological balance is maintained and every hunted species is used to its maximum capacity. The financial predicament of the Hailstone family in this episode is a unique example of how modern and traditional ways of life coexist. Considering the hardships her husband's imprisonment creates, Agnes Hailstone's steadfast will to support her family via hunting and her appearances on the show stands out. As a result of her exceptional financial acumen, and the respectable yearly income from Life Below Zero, Agnes has accumulated a wealth of more than $200,000. Life Below Zero stars Sue Aiken, $500,000, and Jesse Holmes, $460,000, have much more physical money than Hailstone does, even if their riches is intangible. Beyond the limits of subsistence, doing business in rural Alaska has its own distinct challenges. Nevertheless, their lives are meticulously recorded by the National Geographic Channel, offering viewers an enthralling narrative interwoven with themes of determination, family ties, and the obstinate pursuit of authentic living. Her husband, Chip Hailstone, is very pleased with his modest but devoted 1,600 Twitter followers. Searches for verified accounts under his name yield no results, suggesting he isn't highly active on either Facebook or Instagram. While there isn't a dedicated Life Below Zero channel on YouTube, you can see replays of the show on National Geographic. Nevertheless, Chip has taken matters into his own hands on YouTube, documenting his existence in the remote hamlet of Norwich, Alaska. You might discover a collection of videos and footage here that chronicles his daily expeditions into the woods and his methods for making it through. Despite entering its 10th year on television, the cast of the Emmy-winning Life Below Zero has had a difficult year. Death, divorce, and disaster from climate change are all looming over the cast members, as one cast member put it, and fans are worried about the show's future and if it will continue streaming. The new season trailer for The Life Below Zero is rather depressing, with the cast members venting about their issues. Nevertheless, a hopeful note is left in the end. Agnes and Chip have been married for 25 years, and in that time they had five daughters, Tinak, Kutan, Hailstone, Mary, and Caroline. 
To Chip, John and Douglas, Agnes's children from a previous marriage are his own. The Hailstones ensure their children get a quality education while living a very traditional lifestyle. There was homeschooling for the older daughters, Tinak and Erak, before they went to a Norvik school close by. The youths are not only athletic, but also play basketball. A grandchild was just bestowed to Chip and Agnes by their eldest daughter, capping off a great trusting and affectionate life together. Witnesses to Chip's present and earlier marriages have conjectured that he served as a military trainer or a non-commissioned officer in his past lives, for the simple reason that his speaking style mimics that of an incompetent teacher. Perhaps the other members of the production crew told him to do this. Just like that, Sue does it. But instead of talking to other people, she talks to herself. It may be likened to the audience standing in for itself. His opponent, Andy, according to fans, was in the hospital for hip surgery and anger management therapy. Else he would still be on the show. Tigers don't often change their stripes, but he seems more comfortable with Denise. Does Agnes Hailstone appeal to you? If so, please let us know in the area given. If you enjoyed this video and would want to see more like it, please let us know in the comment section. To subscribe, click the button below. Until we meet again.